going on everyone you're welcome once again to david data channel if this is your first time you're welcome i'm really excited to have you on this community and i'd like you to hit the like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our content okay so in today's video we're going to be continuing our dbt series and we're going to be talking about dbt command All right if this is your first time you can check out um, our dbt series in the list up in the link above and the link in the description below as well all right um dbt command uh dbt is typically run in two ways on dbt cloud and in command line interface and basically dbt command is what we use to tell dbt what to do at every given point in time right and these are a list of available commands from in dbt um some of them are available in cli only that's the dbt core version and then while the others are available in cloud which is what we are going to use for this tutorial and um basically there are lots of commands as you can see but then there are a couple that are frequently used so i'll put a link to this to so you can check out all the other commands and how you can use them i'm just going to talk about these ones that are frequently used and first one we have is dbt compile dbt compile basically just compiles your dbt um syntax whatever i've written into sql so here we have this our uh, um model that has lots of ginger in it and um once i click on this compile code it shows me the code in proper sql so basically when you run your dbt some of it is saved in um this target folder right and this is your target folder when you come to compile we can actually see the code compiled in proper sql which is what you have yeah right so really that's what your compiler is all about it doesn't run the it doesn't run it doesn't run that model against your data warehouse it just compiles the code so you can see this code in proper sql and just as simple as doing dbt compile if you run this it's going to run all the models and compile it or we can select a specific model let's see staging um others I'm also run that dbt compiles that um, stuff into proper SQL that you find that in your target folder stage orders. We see our compiled code in SQL. All right, so we have dbt run. Yeah, you know what dbt run is. You run your model. You used to run your dbt model project. Then we have dbt source freshness, right? Um, it's a is a freshness block that is used to define an acceptable amount of time between the most recent record and now for a table to be considered fresh. So um, really, just it really helps you to um, manage your source freshness. For, say for example, you could walk in with a data warehouse that um, your ingestion problem may have broken and you did not maybe you didn't you, you don't have observability, observability in place. To help you check that dbt source freshness would help you see that oh this was the last time fresh data came into the data warehouse right with your um loaded ads field so it can be done source freshness can be done on your table or on your project uh let's do this dbt source freshness So basically just say we have our source block our models block you can create a, a freshness block within your yaml file that would help you track how fresh your data is right so it says one after let's say two days and then an error after five days right you can also include your loaded ad field so usually when you're ingesting data you have your field that shows the time that data was loaded into that data warehouse. Really, that's really what your source freshness is all about. So once you run your source freshness test, it runs, um, dbt runs that to confirm that, okay, this source is fresh according to the parameters you have placed on that. Then we have dbt test that runs your test you've defined in your YAML file. And we have dbt docs generate that generates your um, documentation for your dbt project. We also have dbt build. dbt build does dbt run and test at the same time, right? And then we have dbt run operation um dbt run operation runs arbitrary maintenance sql against the database it takes a parameter which is, which is a macro right so you you run dbt run operation against a macro and then it does that it invokes 
the command is to invoke a macro. Yeah, so these are a list of dbt available commands. You can use them in your dbt project to get the best out of your dbt project. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the description below as well. Alright, bye.